Previously on Class of Trades, a client came in and threw a curveball. They added another design element to that middle piece on an already tight schedule. The customer wants something different, we gotta give it to them. As soon as we started machining today, we had a uh, little bit of an oopsie. In my head, I was like, oh, that's it for us, pretty much, after I saw that. If you allow yourself to get frustrated, it's only gonna be a downward spiral. Oh, yelling at me, tell me it's everybody's yelling at me. Let's see if they can get back in the game. We had to buy two pieces of stock and we're down a lot of time. My hopes is that we don't we don't get stuck on it. We can just finish our part and move on. Their first piece that they run, there was a small mistake. They started cutting where they didn't want to cut. These two pieces are supposed to be symmetrical on both sides. Team Suncoast, you guys have been fighting adversity since the start of the show. What's going on now? Uh, right now we're finishing up the neck. We had some problems with the machine, uh, but everything seems to be back on track. We're gonna push the machine to the limits and try to cut it as good as possible. It's nice to have someone that where the buck stops. All right, ask Tyler. Tyler, when are we doing this? What do you want to do, Tyler? We got three ways to do this. Which way do you think we should do it? Do things one step at a time. So what they're hoping to do with this strategy is run the same program, not have to rewrite it too much, but make the same thing go faster. There's some issues that could happen, but that's a good idea. That's a good strategy. At this point, it might not look pretty, but it'll be done. You guys feel better about this? Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like we're trying the best. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, we've hit a lot of obstacles. We're going. Everybody keeps telling us we're the underdogs. I mean, I feel like we have come a long way. You know, we go down with the ship together or we all win together. And we came here to win, but obviously we came here to do our best. So what you guys didn't do is just give up. No, oh, we no. never give up. Never, never gonna give up. All right, all right. <laughs> not cycles. Even though you know I'm feeling a little down right now, a little discouraged, I'm not gonna let that get to me. You know, I'm just gonna keep pushing forward because that's what we do. I think there's still hope for us. Keep, keep grinding. Grind. Keep grinding. Grind. They turned it around. How'd you guys get over this? Pulled out of the machine. They said, "Go grab another piece of stock. We'll deal with this later." No sense in dwelling on it. We just grabbed it and just kept going. So was there a time penalty or a financial penalty? What happened when you had to get another piece of stock? Yeah, we had to spend $100 on stock. $100, okay. And and cost is one of the things that we are using to score this. So, you know, hopefully that $100 doesn't push them over the edge, but I think it was the right thing to do. It was a good strategy to make sure that they continue to be in the competition. And the new piece that they're cutting looks way better than this. Let me tell you that. Good job. That red team, I think that they deserve uh, the most resilient team award because they just really have had to slug it out at every corner to, to keep moving forward. But they exemplify what we want out of people in manufacturing. It's heartwarming. Tensions are running hot as teams rush to make any last changes to their test systems. There's only a few minutes left on the machines. We'll see if they'll fail or if they'll go to victory. I probed the wrong thing, and so the end mill plunged into the part accidentally. We fixed it, and it should be cleared up, but it, as of right now, there's a little bit of a mistake in it. The position that we told it to go to was lower than what it actually was supposed to be, so it just dropped down into it. Yeah, in, in this last stage of machining, it's pretty pretty dang crucial that we get this stuff right, because if, if we don't, if for some reason we'd mess up again or whatever, it would drastically hurt us and the competition So. Yeah, the change order affected me because I'm the programmer. I gotta go back in and rework something that I've already cut on the machine, and that's just part of it. The customer wants something different, we gotta give it to them. You wanna do everything as efficiently and as fast as possible. We ran out of time, really, on what we needed to do. We'll see how it shakes out, but it was rocky the whole way. He's watching to make sure the uh, tool doesn't try to get like underneath it without moving the platter and snap the end off. If we were to snap off, uh, that would be a couple minutes penalty and we'd have to buy another tool. You know, we had a couple rough spots, but uh, we moved past them and we have a final product now. It's only a matter of time. So the teams have finished making their parts. They're gonna load them up here on this Zeiss Duramax CMM and we're gonna see how accurate those parts are. This machine is gonna use a probe just like this one to touch certain features on their parts and make sure that they line up to the accuracy on the print. This machine's accuracy is up to 2.4 microns. That's a piece of your hair split up a thousand times. Let's see how the teams are gonna stack up. Team's machine time is up. 
Now it's time to assemble those final test systems and install that wind turbine. This is the final challenge before they present to the judges. We ran out of time really on what we needed to do. We got down to the last 20 minutes of machining time and all we could do was rough out our topper. You guys overcame a lot. You guys had to, you know, catch up on time, uh, but you got it done. You guys proud of yourselves? Yeah, I'm proud of our team. Uh, we called it really good on the welding portion and we did our best on this that we could. I, I did what I could do. I did my best, so it's gonna be what it's gonna be. Looking at all the other designs, this one uh, looks completely different. It's got that weight on there, but that thing is still rolling. <laughs> so we'll see what happens, man. Good luck, gentlemen. I think that everybody will be kind of impressed that a non-known school is actually making waves in the industry. Tell me, are you guys uh, happy about the decision that you made to switch from an aerospace design to an agriculture design? It added a little bit of a runtime going from the aerospace part to this part, but it's a more complicated design. That's part of it. Our confidence level is pretty good. Uh, we got a lot of our tool paths done in a decent time, and our uh, turbine design was really, it was on point. Well, it looks beautiful. We'll see if it spins as good as it looks. Good luck. Pretty confident. We have a pretty solid design. I don't think anyone else's design for the impeller was uh, as innovative as ours, and that's if most of them get it done. You guys sound pretty confident that this might be the one that takes home $100,000. Good luck. In this contest, they're competing for $100,000, and that is a huge deal. You can see the intensity on, on the contestants' faces. And so right now, we're still in the phase where it's anybody's game, and so everybody is just, just wired tight. Winning that $100,000 would be a great investment into our future. Winning Clash of Trades would mean the world to me. I plan on buying my own CNC machine and starting to make parts on my own and kind of start to grow a business out of it. I just think it's really cool how far I've come. I, I never thought that I would be at this point. It's exciting for me to see their excitement. Even if they don't win, they've had an incredible experience at Clash of Trades, the national finals. Every team that showed up, every individual that showed up, every instructor that showed up, they got in the game. We have a competition, we encourage competition, we strive to have the intensity of the workplace. They stepped into the game. They are the ones that are making the difference. They have already won. Whether they finish first or fourth today, I'm proud of them. On the way home, I'm gonna say, and I even said it last night, I said, you guys, thank you. There's been some late nights, there's been heartache, there's been tension, but lots of laughs, met a lot of great folks. How many people get to do this? It started out with 32 teams and only four are left. This is an amazing opportunity that they will never forget the rest of their life, once in a lifetime. We are all winners that we stepped up to play. We're at a national finals for Project MFG, Clash of Trades. They're the only students in the nation that made it here. We've already won. We're already here. Congrats on making it to the end. This week, you are tasked with building a five-piece aviation-inspired test system Teams are judged on their overall project strategy and construction, team performance, cost, and a full system spin test, which are happening now. Will the black team from Yuba College come present their assembly and start their final test? Glad that we were able to get everything done on time and efficiently. We had a couple hiccups along the way. I'm just ready to see uh, how it all turns out. Teams, are you ready? Yes. yes. Judges, are you ready? We are. Ready. Start the clock. Stop time. Looking around, um, I'm feeling confident in our abilities and everything. We just have to wait and see um, how they perform during the final test. Start the clock. Stop the clock. Your total time was two minutes and 18 seconds. Great job. We are really excited to show what we have at the national level. So you guys did a really great job on uh, the design and the assembly. Good job, fellas. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Thank you. It's exciting to see the culmination of a long week's work and uh, a lot of thought and skill applied. So good job.
Our design is aesthetically pleasing. Our design is efficient. It works really well and I'm really confident. Um, we just got to see what the other teams are able to do. I think the real world is not always as black and white as you'd like. The competition isn't just the fanciest design. It's a number of different criteria, including time and cost. They were tested and scored on a lot of different categories like you know, the weld and design and teamwork. They've made it quite challenging with their, their diverse strengths. So that's, that's our job is to do the hard work and, uh, you know, figure it all out. Red Team from Suncoast, please present your assembly and get ready for the final test. We're at the end of the competition. It's finally put together. Feeling a little anxious, but like in a good way, kind of. Because I just can't wait to see our part up there ready to go. And I just can't wait to see the judges' faces. Start the clock. That looks smooth. So they're testing our part. I'm feeling really good about it. Uh, it's spinning the way we thought it would, maybe even a little better. All right, right. y'all Y'all said, make this thing spin for the longest time y'all could. I'm looking around the other teams, seeing how theirs is, and ours is doing the best so far. Stop the clock. Right. Start the clock. Stop. So there was an air seal that was not all the way sealed. So this low pressure test uh, did not spin the wheel. We don't have any time on it. It's very important to have a strong weld as well as a leak proof weld. You need that reservoir full such that all of the air goes through the mechanism and doesn't leak out the sides of the tank. Suncoast Tech, your total spinning time is seven minutes and 33 seconds. Wow, that was, uh, that was incredible. Seven minutes and 33 seconds. The second spin, that, that's okay. Brush that off because uh, so far that you've got the longest running time. Congratulations for overcoming all of the obstacles that you have faced both on the machining side and on the welding side. Thank you. Thank you. Calhoun Warhawks, the gray team. Please step forward, grab your assembly, and get ready for your final test. I'm feeling a little discouraged because, I, like I said, our, we could only get our topper roughed out and um, it's too heavy, so it won't spin. Warhawks, are you ready? Ready. Judges, ready. let's get it. Start the clock. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's go. Yes, sir. It's fun. <laughs> Start the clock. Stop the clock. Calhoun Warhawks, your total spin time is 19.5 seconds. You can feel how much you want to win, and I know it must be so disappointing right now. But you have a bright future ahead of you, and uh, I know you'll do well. So, you know, keep persevering and, and keep moving on. Thank you, thank you. It's a very humbling loss, um, but you need that to be better. So it's a blessing in disguise. Blue team from SWIG. It's time to grab your assembly and prepare for the final test. We've been looking around and, uh, you know, we, we don't sweat it at all. We're still we're feeling pretty good. We're pretty confident about what we're doing. Are you ready? Yes. Oh, yeah. Judges, are we ready? Yes. Ready. Here we go. Start the clock. I, I don't want to set my expectations too high. I don't want to expect that we're going to win. I don't want to expect that we're going to lose. Quick, are you ready? Start the clock. Stop the clock. Swick, you guys have a total spin time of five minutes and 13 seconds. Yeah, I'm just super excited. It, what, we got everything done and it went really well. Good job. Very, very sketchy at the beginning as far as the, uh, the two-piece design and how thin it was going to be and, and all the questions that you had, and I think you really pulled it out. You went through this contest with much confidence and proved that it would work and uh, had a great spin time, so congrats. 
Teams, the work is done. Now it's time for us judges to deliberate, tally up these scores, and see who's gonna be the winner. We got a tough decision to make. We really do, and I'm just gonna say, I cannot believe Suncoast pulled that out. Oh man, seven minutes? Even though Suncoast had, a, you know, the longest spin time, that's not the only thing that is gonna win them this contest if it happens that way. What do you guys think? Calhoun came in with three people. You know, that's definitely gonna uh, help their labor costs, so that has to be taken into account. Some teams did better well in their welding performance than others. If you had to purchase new material, that significantly adds to your cost. Right. And some teams took a penalty for a little bit of rework, so it's, it's gonna be a really challenging decision. Team, come rejoin us for the results. What a week. You guys really stepped it up and showcased your skills in a real world advanced manufacturing competition. You've beaten out the competition to even make it this far. You guys are the best of the best in the nation. Everyone's fought hard, but unfortunately, there can only be one winner of the $100,000 grand prize. 50K for your trade school and 50K for your team. And of course, the title of 2022 Clash of Trades National Champions. The winner of the 2022 Clash of Trades Tournament and the $100,000 Grand Prize. Swick Southwest yeah. Illinois College! This $100,000 grand prize check was brought to you by the DOD Industrial Base Analysis and Sustainment Program, the Gene Haas Foundation, and SME Foundation. Uh, exhilarated. I am, I've never been this happy in my life. It is a great feeling. Well, last year we were second place. This year we now are first place. We have a nice big check. <laughs> Swig. Killed it, you know, they, they deserve the win. I'm ecstatic how well we performed during this competition. <sighs> I am proud, I really am. We learned a lot, <laughs> went through a lot. I will never forget my experience here. I mean, it's, it's wonderful, this is great. I'm excited with what kind of possibilities that people I've met here and opportunities or doors I may have opened. We don't do it for, for fame, we don't do it for money, we do it for the trades. This is something I'll never forget. I'm taking away a handful of knowledge from this place. If you had a chance to come, I would, I would suggest doing it. Proud that we made it here in the first place in the finals. It's a big achievement for us in our little school. I'll be back, don't worry, <laughs> I'll be back. Nobody gave up, they all saw it out to the end. Everybody finished the piece and completed it all. You know, we couldn't have asked for a better competition. Thank you to all the teams that participated and thank you to Project MFG and most importantly, Thank you. Stay tuned next year for Clash of Trade. Follow, like, and subscribe. Project MFG on all the socials.